morning YouTube. This is about bug out vehicles. This is the bug out vehicle that I have. Sure, it's not four wheel drive. It's not the latest and greatest. And yes, for all that you that know, Dodge's downside is its transmission. Well, do the best with what you have until you can afford something better. The upside to these vans is you can pick them up for as little as $1,000 with a bad transmission. I have the transmission rebuilt for two grand, and you're ready to go. The other downside is 15 miles to the gallon. But it has all the goodies inside, TV, DVD player, even hook up an antenna to keep up with the news in a bug out situation. Having four kids and two large dogs, and not very much money, and no payment load. For those of you that say that you budget prepped and have a $40,000 car with a uh, bank note on it, what good is that car going to do you if it gets repoed in the downturn and then you have to bug out? I have no payment load. All I pay for is gas and maintenance. Now, because I have four kids and two large dogs and my lovely wife, I have to have a little bit more room. And my choice was a truck bed trailer. I know, it's redneck. But it is what it is. Why a truck bed trailer? I picked up this trailer for $250 with the cap on it. Set a rust oleum roller job paint job on it. Wired it up, put some safety chains on it, and it's good to go. There are a lot of different options out there. Feather light trailers, a few grand. Harbor Freight Tool or Northern Tools and Equipment trailers. Okay, but they're a little lower to the ground. The first thing I learned about this trailer, bringing it home, was that that tire sits on that van, and that van spare sits on that tire, because I had a blowout on the way home. I have the tool compartments on it, which I could put all kinds of prepping gear in it, which I don't have in it right now because it's kind of like my second shed. I'm doing a lot of projects with the trailer and around the house and all the liberal time off that I don't have. Now, the modularness, if that's a word, of this trailer is I could get parts at any scrapyard. If I need a wheel, go to the scrapyard. If I need a lens, scrapyard. For all you guys that are out there prepping on a budget and you're hanging jerry cans on everything, jerry cans are about 35 bucks a piece. What is the blinding flash of the obvious of this trailer? Unlike any other trailer. I can put the fuel tank back under it and have stealth fuel storage. I could put two fuel tanks under it. Three. Whatever I could find to hang under it. Well, some people say, well, DOT would have a situation with that. Well, they might. But in a bug out situation, I hope DOT is out there directing traffic, not inspecting trucks and trailers. You would think. So, what is the valuable cargo that I have behind my U.S. Army canvas half tent here? The reason I have the half tent is the door was broken. I took off the bumper to take off some weight. I could still take off more weight by taking off the brake components. Or, if you choose, you could use the existing brake components and put on a surge brake. So you have brakes on the trailer on the cheap. So what's my important load today? It is a trip to the scrapyard. Oh boy. 
that's the other thing I needed was multiple uses on what one income with four kids and a lovely wife and a mortgage I don't have the spare time or money to build something and just have it sit there I need to use it and that's what I intend to do excuse <clears throat> me so I use it for other things other than setting on the side as a bug out trailer well, I could get a pickup truck, but where am I going to put the four kids? So, this was the next logical combination. Another reason for the pickup bud trailer is it tracks exactly behind this tow vehicle. I am a truck driver, and I know that if the whiskers fit, the rest of the cat will go through. So if I'm in a tight situation, I don't have to worry about the fenders of my trailer getting hung up. And it's a $250 trailer. If I ding it up, I don't care. It is what it is. It doesn't have anything fancy on it. No CB radios, no, no batteries, no solar panel units. In fact, I'm leaving the roof clear for things like bicycles, more gear. Rather than have the rear bumper, I'm going to keep my eye out for a trailer hitch. I could put a trailer hitch assembly on this frame, just like it were a pickup truck back in the day, tow another trailer, put a bike rack on it, put a hangout gate. It's totally modular. I can use it to suit whatever purpose I need to and to load up whatever gear I need. That's it on the bug out truck. Thank you for watching. This is Knuckle Dragging Prepper out.